Now I'm talking with Dawn Hemi, who is part of this exhibition at Urban Gallery called Driftwood and Dharma. And here's here's Dawn. Hello. Hi. Thank you Welcome so much. To That's wonderful. Can you explain um, your technique and also the inspiration for these pictures? Uh, my work is uh, influenced by Southeast Asia and India, and I like Chris's work. Most of these are really prints or etchings in Talio, uh, which is um, carving, scratching into a metal plate, and then uh, ink goes into those, and, and there's a resist, and you can make multiple images. They're really prints, uh, like this one, is where you cut into a linoleum block, and the areas that are cut out are white, and the areas that are black are the areas were raised. So when you ink that up with a, uh, a grayer, the log will get the ink and you transfer that to paper that is burnished. Fantastic. And these are all inspired by the Taj Mahal and India and um, more and more the little places in India like this one is Monkey Palace which is just a site where monkeys are, are running wild and, and people do but it's actually an old palace that they live in. So it's not all major sites, but little areas and shadow puppets from Indonesia that are really sort of a little treasure that the cultural treasure that yeah. um, you know it's nice to explore. So there's a variety of, of the different themes going. Yeah, we'll go and take a look at those. So how long have you been uh, working in this medium? Since I was 19. Um, that's was like 10 year. years, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, uh, was my first printmaking year. Yep. And then um, I went to OCAD for four years. I worked with Fred Bacon, who was one of my instructors. And then I worked, uh, then I taught printmaking for probably 20 years at Central Tech. So oh, working cool. in it was great because I got to play you know, in my own time and be able to print some of the work with progresses. Oh, fantastic. So, and being surrounded by creative people is certainly a uh, you know, to be able to go in every day and have that kind of uh, environment. It's really wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to go for a walk and I'm going to go and check out Monkey Palace because right. there's a lot to see. Okay. So hopefully everybody can come and see you for the month of uh, November, all your work here at Urban. Thank you so much, Thank Dawn. Much. I'm going to go look for my flying monkeys. Mm. And here's the Monkey Palace. These are the Indonesian shadow puppets that Dawn was telling. I remember when I was growing up in Australia, we had a big influence with the uh, Indonesian culture. And I remember playing with these shadow puppets. 